Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit the bell so you're notified when we upload. We have a fun video today. Um, we asked you guys what content you want to see this year and there's been some great responses mm -hmm. and it really helps us. And one of you asked for a favorite drugstore makeup products and we use so much drugstore skincare. I'd say like 80% of our skincare routine yeah. is it's drugstore. Drugstore affordable. But we don't use a ton of drugstore makeup. So we did think this was like a really good video to do because you know that the products we are talking about, we think are just as good as like luxury, luxury makeup. Yeah. Um, like to and, me, these are all luxury formulas. Yeah, and we really do use them all the time. Um, and it's a pretty curated selection. So let's get into it. So we'll just go in the order that we apply our makeup, starting with complexion products. This is no surprise. This is our favorite foundation, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. I have that right now. Nude 40. It's our favorite foundation of all time. Like yeah. not even just at drugs at the mm -hmm. drugstore. Like we love this. Thing. It is like nothing else you'll mm -hmm. ever find. It's all the silicones we think. It like know. really just makes the skin look plump, fresh, healthy, wears so well, doesn't settle into fine lines, a really natural finish, not too shiny, not matte. Yeah, like I wore over a shinier SPF today and I feel like it like mattified the SPF a little bit, but didn't, it never looks matte, like, mm -hmm. or it never looks too shiny. It's literally- A little goes a long way. Yeah, you apply it with a doe foot. And I watched um, a girl's TikTok saying that, um, and I think Kate has talked about this too, but when you apply, like she uses concealer um, as a foundation, cause she said like, then she doesn't have to like apply so much. So you like don't apply as much product. And I actually, at first I thought this doe foot was kind of like unsanitary, yeah. but I feel the same way. Like you can just sort of like spot use it. Uh -huh. And then you're not like pumping out foundation exactly. and it's like applying all over like a cakey layer. It's easier Then you don't have to like pump it out on your hand. Yeah. And I think this is best applied with a brush. I always like dry it on, I mean, I always use apply a it with a foundation brush and then go over top of the sponge. But if you go with a sponge right away, since it is like a thicker, moussier texture, it's just way easier with a brush. Yeah, I mean, holy grail. Holy grail status. Love this stuff. I did a whole video on this, but this is such a good concealer. It is. I've really never found a drugstore concealer I've loved as much as this. It's very similar to the Kosas Revealer Concealer, which is my all-time favorite. I still prefer the Kosas, but this is a really close second in my entire collection. It's the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, and you get so much product in here. It's 9.6 ml, which mm -hmm. is huge, and I think it's like $10 from Target. Yeah, and I actually love the airless package. I yeah. feel like more concealer should be, like specifically, and I'm gonna talk about this in our monthly favorites because I do love that, um, what concealer have I been wearing? Oh, the Fit Glow. The Fit Glow concealer, but the packaging is awful, and I wish they would have put that in an airless. It's yeah. Under, an underrated package. Yeah, so it's in an airless pump, so you can just like, you can control the dosage pretty well. Yeah. Like you pump out a little bit, and then I apply it under my eyes. Um, it's dewy, but not like too dewy, but it's dewy enough that it really adds like life to your under eyes. It doesn't mm -hmm. make them look dry. Um, it really, you know, brightens the face and it has pretty good coverage. So I love this. I use it's it all so the time. Good. I really love mixing it with the one size concealer because that one is more matte mm -hmm. and like long wearing, but this is more hydrating. Mm -hmm. So when you mix the two, I feel like it's a really pretty combination and like lasts all day. And we're the shade vanilla. Yes. Okay, next up are blushes. Our all-time favorite drugstore blush is the Alme what, Healthy Hue Blush in, in the shade Nearly, Nearly Nude. Nude. You guys have heard us talk about this time and time again. It's like a baked formula. I think these are made in Italy. Mm -hmm. It's literally stunning. It's stunning. We don't know how they're so affordable. I mean, I really don't like this packaging. That's like my only complaint. It's just yeah. bulky. But even there's a magnet in the packaging. So yeah, I and that's how packaging. it's so affordable. And because um, I think these are like, you can get them for as low as like $7. I think they're more like 10 Well, when there's like still. discounts, I feel Yeah, that's like. true. Mm -hmm. They sell it at like, you know, all the drugstores. Yeah. And I also have the shade uh, So Peachy. We'll do swatches of all like the mm -hmm. color stuff. But this is also super pretty for the summertime. Um, these are just so beautiful. Like they are kind of pigmented, so be a little careful. Yeah. But they go on okay, so smoothly. On hand. They have a little They're bit so of a sheen. soft. They're so soft. They're so long wearing. The colors are really refined. Yeah. I feel like with a lot of drugstore products, my mm -hmm. issue is that the colors are like not flattering. Yeah. And this nearly nude shade is so beautiful. And yeah. like the peachy shade is a little bit bright, but like really pretty for a peach. It blends into the skin like a second layer. It doesn't look heavy at all. Mm -hmm. And it just looks like you're glowing from within. Yeah. I've, we've gotten so many like in real life compliments yeah. on this blush when we both wear it. Um, also makes a really so great eyeshadow. Like yes. every time I wear this on the cheek, I put it in the crease Me and it too. like ties together so I beautifully. I actually like 
like I I don't think I'd ever want to start a makeup line but I've always been like oh my god can you imagine like a line of singles yeah, in this formula yeah. with like a mix of like matte and shimmers like this formula is just so it's so good on the eyes it's too so good you guys mm -hmm. um and then the other blush favorite I have are the Burt's Bees matte blushes talc free um this is the shade shy pink I actually had to get rid of my the peach blush that I had I think it was like so peachy maybe it was another peach name mm -hmm. but that one felt out of the compact and then I think I misplaced it because it was like just in a pan and I didn't have it in a palette mm -hmm. and then the toasted cinnamon was my favorite shade but that one definitely expired I had it for years so I need to repurchase but these are really really beautiful matte again they're like super soft they kind of have a sheen to them um they can be built up like this and this is like the only cool toned pink blush that I own and I think it's really pretty and so I wanted to keep this one um and this is like the newest shade that I got mm -hmm. in the line so they also have a newer one that's like really deep that I want to try mm -hmm. but in terms of like a matte blush at the drugstore I feel like this is definitely the best one I found and I will say like I obviously only buy talc free products which are really hard to find at the drugstore so that's another reason why I feel like I don't have as many bronzers and blushes from mm -hmm. the drugstore another reason for the lack of bronzers in this video i just i don't think that any drugstore brand just really puts out the quality yeah as like mid-tier you know what though i, I don't do know why i don't know why the revlon skin lights bronzer i've heard a few people talk about that recently mm -hmm. And that one seems really nice and similar to my beloved Bare Minerals Invisible. So if you guys have tried that, let us know down below. But I want to give that a shot. But yeah, overall, I feel like the tones of like drugstore bronzers and blushes just aren't what I'm looking for mm -hmm. usually. Okay, I feel like when it comes to mascara, I pretty much exclusively use drugstore. Me too, except I've been really on this rare beauty mascara yeah. right now. But it's so just, much. I feel like drugstore does mascara the best. If you're going to the so drugstore... Well. Pick up a mascara and you will almost never be disappointed. And they use, like, guaranteed, they use the same labs, the yeah, same manufacturers yeah. as high-end brands. Like, you are essentially paying for, like, super nice mascara packaging. Exactly. Exactly. But mascara is, like, not everyone does mascara manufacturing-wise, so mm -hmm. it is the same. Like, yeah, you, you don't need to pay extra. Exactly. Um, so, I feel like L'Oreal Lash Paradise, I would still say, is, like, my holy grail mascara from the drugstore i feel like this just adds volume it's super black it wears really well it doesn't flake it doesn't yeah. um, transfer i need to pick that up again because it's so good i just recently re-got it because i was like why haven't i had this in so long because i've been on a kick with the revlon so fierce which i also love and now i'm just going to always have both because the lash paradise is a typical like nylon bristle wand and the revlon so fierce is like a silicone we can do wand. inserts to show you yeah um so i kind of like having them both and like i use them together mm -hmm. so this is like my i favorite. like both of those too and then and you guys know the essence volume booster lash primer i can't live without this it's five dollars it's such a good lash primer again it's a nylon bristle wand but it's not clumpy at all like the bristles are a little bit further apart so i feel like it just adds the perfect amount of primer before going in with mascara so like this these three are just like the best of the best i don't have the mascara i want to talk about here so i'm just going to insert a photo it's a l'oreal bambi eyes mascara it's again like a molded wand like a plastic wand and it has like little short bristles but it's big so it kind of reminds me of the covergirl lash blast so it's like that mm -hmm. bigger brush but a plastic wand and i don't know what's in that but it makes my lashes so like thick and voluminous it does transfer a little bit on me but everything does and um i haven't repurchased it in a bit because like i said i've been using that Barbie beauty mascara and as you know it's kind of hard to like simultaneously use mascaras they go back yeah. so quick um but i highly recommend it it is really so good okay for brow again this is i like never stray from this yeah it's my fave too this is like no, hands down my most repurchased product mm -hmm. it's the cover girl what is this called ultra fine brow pencil i use the shade honey brown i use the shade soft brown there's literally no complaints it's a micro fine tip not too not small super but small it's, yeah it's fine um, I feel like what I like the most about this is that it doesn't lay down too much product, but just enough. Like, I feel like it just deposits enough pigmentation to fill in the sparse areas without being, like, too contrasted, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, it blends so well. Like, I just easily put it through my brows, use the spoolie or, like, an external spoolie, brush it through, and it just looks so natural. It wears really well. It pairs with any brow gel that I put on top of it. I, I mean, I'll like never buy another brow pencil. It's really so And good. it's so affordable. It's mm -hmm. like $6. You can get it at Amazon, Target. 
Um, so I feel like for so many reasons, I like keep coming back to this. I also recently discovered, again, with the CoverGirl Brow products, this is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Pen. It's a 24-hour brow ink pen. Um, again, I use the shade Soft Brown. And my only complaint with this, but this is this is true of every, every um, eyeliner with this sort of like ink system. Like, mm -hmm. it's always going to dry out. But it definitely dries out quick, which is why I would never spend my money on like one of those more like expensive brow pens uh -huh. because you really won't get, I mean, more than like a few months use, I don't think. But it's basically a felt tip brow pen and you just go in and you draw like hair like strokes and then it actually has a molded spoolie, yeah, so which is so interesting. Most spoolies are like on um, nylon bristle and they're not like this, like a silicone, um, but I really like this. And um, what I love about this is that it's just so much more sheer than a brow pencil. Mm -hmm. So when I want it to look like I just have naturally fuller brows, like I basically just fill in all my gaps with this and it really is pretty sheer. So I just go in with a clear brow gel on top and I've never felt like my brows actually like, like someone would look at me and just think that my brows were like that perfect. Even yeah. though I do have gaps, like this is just so natural looking and I love that. But again, it does dry out relatively quickly so I do wanna call that out, but because it's so affordable, I don't really mind. Okay, and another place that the drugstore just does it right is lip products. I feel like that's another thing of like mm -hmm. what we own a lot of. Yeah. Um, so um, we're honestly probably forgetting some, but yeah. I'm going to talk about what I'm wearing today. Um, so this is the Color Riche Matte L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Sharpenable Lip Liner in the shade Matting Call 114. I know I talked about this before. I owned it years ago and then like recently repurchased in the last few months. I know I need to repurchase it too. And it is it. like the perfect cool tone nude liner. I don't really own any anymore. I feel like cool tone was really in for a while. And this is like cool tone in a still flattering way. It's not too gray. Again, like we'll insert swatches. But I have this on. But I will say it is very matte and like will accent accentuate lip lines. So I always like to pair it with something slightly like more shiny. And I still think like this L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Shine lipstick. This is the shade Glossy Fawn. Is one of like the best shiny lipsticks I've ever tried. I, as you can see, like it's not too shiny. Yeah, That's it's my not thing. very shiny. I don't. Well, I guess I paired it with like something super matte too, which I would always do. Like I'll always wear a matte lip liner underneath it. If you wear it on its own, it's a little shinier. Um, but I like how it just looks natural and like plumps up the lips without being like a lip gloss, you know. And the shade is so pretty. Again, it's like a neutral, almost leaning cool nude. Um, I've repurchased this several times, and the packaging is really nice for the price. So this combination is like unbeatable. L'Oreal, the, the quality of L'Oreal products is always really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have another sort of like glossy lip I love. They're the Revlon Super Lustrous. I think they're like the shine lipsticks. This is my favorite shade. It's 006 Sparkling Honey. These are so good. They're shinier than the L'Oreal mm -hmm. and they literally feel like a nourishing lip they balm. They do feel really nourishing. Like they're like, they feel more nourishing than the Glossier tinted lip balm. They feel more nourishing than like 90% of the lip products I have. They actually kind of feel like now that I'm smelling it and putting it on my lips, the Beauty Pie Lip Oil. Oh, and like the Beauty Pie Lipstick then maybe? They, yeah, they have like the same, it's meltier than the Beauty Pie Lipstick. Mm -hmm. These are very melty. Um, they're so nice. I could like keep applying it. And this shade has like micro sparkles in it, which I don't like, but the mass tone is like my favorite. It's like a brown, yeah. like a yellowy brown. Um, and I love it. it. They're just so good. They are really good. I have a lot of these. I think I have like five shades, but I just brought this one out here because it's my favorite. The only thing is the packaging, the stickers that come on the, maybe they've changed this since we purchased maybe, this. yeah. The stickers that come on the outside were like actually impossible to get off. And then by, by the time you got it off, it has all this residue still on it, even with like goo gone. So it just looks really like gross. Yeah. But um, if they got, fix that, the packaging is like cute. It's so really cute. Um, and these are so cheap. I think you can get them on Amazon for like $5. Yeah. Okay, and then I included this because it you can get it at Target, so I feel like that's technically drugstore. But the Jason Wu Hot Fluff Lipsticks are still one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I love this formula. This shade in Biscotti, I wear all of the time. Again, it's like a cooler tone nude, and but it's still flattering, not too gray. 
pairs well with like lots of lip liners that I own. And these are like on the pricier side of the drugstore spectrum. But you can actually use these in a multitude of ways. You can use them as a blush. You can use them on your eyes. So I feel like for that reason, like it's definitely worth the price. And again, like the shades in this range are so beautiful. I have biscotti. And I forget the other shade that I have that's more of like a terracotta. But this is like one of my go-to nude lipsticks. And the formula almost reminds me of the MAC Powder Kiss. Where it's like that soft touch matte finish that's not too, too drying and like lasts really well. So I love this product and had to include it. Okay, we I think we also did a whole video on these. And for some reason, we didn't include the swatches of this one. I just found that was you then because I thought you did. I uh, know. Oh. Wait, maybe we did. There was that we orange. Had only, we'd only the kept like three deep shades. Berry yeah. And the red. And this one. Then where did this come from? Because I have that one and the red that I kept. Hmm. Weird. Well, I don't think I put it in this video, but I love this shade. It's like a bright pink. It's called Wink Wink. It reminds me of, there was like some lipstick back in the day we used to both love. It was, was the MAC. Um, I had it. It was a MAC lipstick. Oh. I loved it. Um, but the red one's still my favorite, but I should say what these are. They're the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Ultra Matte Lipsticks. I have to like swatch it and then wipe it off because it stains. But it's like a soft matte formula. It comes in mm -hmm. kind of like a slimline A shell. Um, and it literally feels like high end. It does. It goes so down super thin. opaque. It's really thin. It lasts all day. Um, and it's like a matte finish without being like too matte. I'm gonna order a goes nude on today. creamy. They don't really have nudes. They, they do. Like they, they have one. Yeah. They don't have a lot of good colors. I yeah. will say that's mm -hmm. the only downside. Honestly, CoverGirl, just be better with your colors. Yeah. Because everyone would buy your Who's products. working on your PDT? I know. Can we help? <laughs> um, because the formula is so good. It honestly shocked us. So I had to include it because it's yeah, like something no one knows them. about. Yeah, as soon as we tried them, we were like, oh my gosh, this formula is so mm -hmm. unique. I'm so, like Carly said, I had to mention it. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for our current drugstore favorites, but with saying that, we would love to hear your guys' drugstore favorites down below. You have the same taste as we do. So anything that you guys love, please leave your recommendations down below because clearly we have to try some more. I feel like a lot of these things, aside from like the NYX concealer, are have been around for like years. Mm -hmm. So we haven't really ventured into like what's new at the drugstore. Um, so we'd love to get your recommendations.